What's up, this is Joe Baker. It's Caleb Green. Welcome to New Hampshire. This is the day in our lives. We all want to be better than each other, and that's what makes us. That's what makes us good. That's right. This is my elementary school that I went to, and uh, every day at recess, all the other kids are playing tag and, and everything, and uh, we were out here hooping. It's me and a group of kids, and I tried to get as many people as I could so we could play like threes or whatever. I used to try to dunk on that little hoop. It's like seven and a half feet. I couldn't get it. So like fifth grade. So yeah. That's where all it all began. Where it all began. All of our all of our best memories are probably at the gym, really. Like we just when I like when I was younger, like probably like the, I think the reason why I'm so damn skinny is like we just be in the gym for like eight hours without even eating. Like we just forget to eat because we'll just be in the gym just playing all the time. Oh, I got into Proctor was basically because of them. Um, TJ, our, our AAU coach, uh, uh, Chef in first, like he said, as a freshman, and then Caleb the next year, and then I joined Blue Devils as a sophomore. And um, I was looking for prep schools, and since Caleb and Chef were already there, it was just, it was just easier for me to go there with them. Yeah. Hate each other for yeah, a while. Nah, we kind of hated each other for a while. Like a it was while. Like <laughs> seventh grade, we didn't like it each was, other. It was kind of my fault. I was, you know, I was going to be <laughs> I'll just I'll be doing some like some stupid stuff to make Caleb mad. I would always do it on purpose. Caleb didn't like me. And I'd just kinda of be messing around. But I mean we're all uh me, Caleb and Chef are all roommates. Uh we have a couple offers where all three of us have the offer and the coaches were like, Yeah, we want all three of you but we also want like but we also want each one of you individually. Doesn't mean that we want all three of you just as a package. But um I mean I don't know, it's it's a possibility. I wouldn't say that it's definitely gonna happen, but it's definitely not gonna happen. But like, we can definitely talk about it. And in terms of being rivals, I mean, if we, if we're playing against each other, you know, I'm trying to get the W, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to lose, obviously, and I know they're not either. But, I don't know, we'll see. Like, we definitely be talking about it, it's getting closer to that to that choice. Like, we gotta figure out where we're going, but what place is best for all of us. And, um, I think we all just wanna see each other be successful. Yeah. So. You gotta choose the right fit for us, whether it's where we all want to go to the same school or not. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, like just knowing that this is my last year of AU, and then next year is like last year of high school with these guys, just playing with these guys. And uh, it'll definitely be tough moving on if we don't stay together, just because like I know that um, when I'm feeling lazy, Caleb gets me up, and then if he's feeling lazy, I'll get him up. Like, and uh, you don't know if you'll find Diego. You don't know if you'll find that at the next level. You don't know if you'll have that same type of guy who um, gets you up, wanting you to play, like play every day, get you to work hard. You know what I mean? Because some, sometimes you, I mean, you, you be feeling kind of lazy. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it today. But um, you definitely need someone to help, like help motivate you too, like a, a teammate, a good teammate. Um, on and off the court, it's just, it's just close. Close. we're really tight. Yeah. So that's gonna be it's gonna be weird transitioning from that. Hood Park, um, nice little area. There's um, people go swimming down there. Um, there's a tennis court over there. groups like every day so we'll lift like four times a week um, each day is a different muscle group right now we're gonna be doing bison back so, uh, we're gonna start with bison curls and uh, single arm rows so. Always have a chip on your shoulder because we're from this small state, and no one really thinks we can we can hoop here. But there, there's guys who can hoop, and they kind of see us when they're playing us. Like, oh, New Hampshire, like we got this. And then when we get on the court, we can play. So it's kind of like always have a chip on your shoulder because we're from here, and uh, 
I just want to pass that down to the kids below us and say you always got to play hard because nobody's going to respect you because you're from here. It, it, to add on to that, like, it just, it just feels really good because, you know, like, we can tell that, that we're the role models now, you know what I mean? Like, as kids growing up in New Hampshire, everyone, like, you get told from the start, like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And, like, I think the big thing with us is that we just, we proved everybody wrong. Everyone told us that we couldn't. Like, people, my, my, my coach used to tell me, man, you, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that, you're going to go D3, all this stuff, you know what I mean? So I think that we really outworked uh, all of that and we just persevered through all that. And now the kids below us see that that they can do the same thing and they're starting to work hard, they're starting to lift weights, you know, they're starting to do the same things that we did growing up to get where we are now. Yeah, I saw TJ in the gym every day and I wanted to get in his workouts, I wanted to be involved and if you see TJ play, he might not look like he can play when he's walking around, but when he gets on the court, he's nice. <laughs> I'll tell you, he's nice and I want to be, I want to try to model my game into TJ. It's pretty much my motivation right now. Hi, um, my name's TJ Thompson. Um, I've been training Caleb Green and Gio since they were like probably like the seventh grade, and the the way they've grown up and the way they've come is is tremendous. I mean, I, I first met them after I got hurt playing professional basketball. I met them in this facility here, and they were working out by themselves in the corner. And I asked them if they want to work out with me, and then we've been going at it every day since. I mean, I've seen them go from little boys to grown men, especially from Caleb's perspective. When I first met him, everyone said that he wasn't going to be a Division One player, and to be honest. Without Caleb Green, we, we don't win any basketball games. I mean, he's the rock of our team. I mean, he's the leader. He makes my job a lot easier because he's the coach on the floor. I don't really have to say too much when it comes to the team because he already knows what I'm going to say. And any school that gets him is going to be very, very privileged to get him because the coach and staff is not going to have too much coaching because he's our, our rock. As far as Gio, I mean, Gio's always been very, very talented. But in the past couple of years, he's finally putting it all together. I mean, he's taking his game to the next level. Before, when he was a young kid, he was probably one of the better point guards trying to get everybody else involved. But nowadays, you can see that he's expanded his game a lot. He can do, he can do both. He can also score if you need him to score, or he can also put, um, pass to his teammates if you need him to make a play for his teammates. But the most underrated part of his game is we usually, when the time gets tough, we put him on the best defender. So if he's grown into a much better all-around player, quickly than what I could imagine. Um, but these kids, I tell you, they're the definition of gym rats. So I think if they can keep going at it and keep getting in the gym every day, the sky's the limit for both of them. Nothing can hold them back. Caleb and Gio are probably two of the most humble kids that you'll probably ever be around. And you know, and I say that because they, they give back to the community. I mean, they come in, they do their work, but they also are the two kids that when we have little kid tournaments, they're there to help the kids, they give the kids advice because they know that they're, they're the face of New Hampshire basketball right now. They know that they're trying to change the perception of New Hampshire basketball players. Um, I think I take that role most of the time. Sometimes when I'm down on myself, she will pick me up though. So I, it's, it's um, I think it's me vocal-wise because I'm not afraid to be loud on the court. But like in a sense, like we're all we're all picking each other up there in the game. So it's not it's not any specific person, but I think vocal-wise it's probably me. So I, I think. Yeah, definitely vocalize Caleb. Um, I say it's like a natural thing too. Like, I mean, every group has a natural leader in the group. Same thing with being friends. Like, same thing with anything really. And um, I'd say naturally, the point guard is supposed to be the leader. And um, obviously, me and Caleb are the two point guards of the team. And we're the veterans. We played 17s last year as Blue Devils, um, along with Chef. So like, naturally, that everyone else is following our lead um, as point guards and as veterans. So I mean that. It's just a natural thing that just kind of comes with, with our responsibility, really. Biggest accomplishment? Um, probably, ah, that's a tough one. Um, probably the fact that I got an offer as young as I did in ninth grade is probably my biggest accomplishment because I worked hard for it before that. I've been, I've been going to the gym every day since like seventh grade, so to get that offer that early was just like a, a big reward for me. Say my my biggest accomplishment uh, is really like just overall becoming who I am today, and, and still obviously getting better. But um, you know, not a lot of kids from New Hampshire get recognized really. But they don't. Uh, they, people don't really know their name, and I think uh, overall as a basketball player, when I like when I walk in the gym, people know who I am. People are dapping me up. And I think that to me that that makes me feel like I've, I've been doing something right. 
um, on the court and off the court. Yeah. It's Caleb Green. It's Joe Baker. Thank you for watching Day in Our Life.